Good morning, afternoon, evening, night. It's six o'clock Saturday, the 2nd of March. 2nd of March. Wow, this is flying, eh? Absolutely flying. It's very cloudy outside today. It's been ridiculously hot here um, this week. I think we had 42 or 44, something like that earlier this week. And it was like, don't go outside. You just melt within seconds. So we just try to stay inside in front of the air conditioner. And then dream about the times when it was a little bit cooler. Morning, everybody. I'll bring on these two blokes. I've got two people here today. There may even be more. Depends if a tractor trailer turns up to take mm, a few pallets. <laughs> we'll see. Morning, gentlemen. G'day. Morning. G'day. From the other, <laughs> that, that lightning guy. I just realised you had that lightning guy. <laughs> you didn't see that before. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was being smart enough doing the 16,000 kilometer thing. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Where we got the great Gary Green photo stories. That sounds like it's a, a YouTube channel. We should check it. Oh my God, the tractor trailer has come. And we've got the, we've got, we've got Scott with the oh, look at that. bright orange beanie. And what happened to the rest of your Safety body? Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> Safety first. Is that what you wear? Camouflage. Safety first. Exactly. <laughs> I look, so I look you head. But not your head. Don't run over your head, but the rest of you is okay. That's right. <laughs> Can't see the rest of them at all, Camel. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but, but those from Vancouver Island, that's up near you guys, isn't it? Vancouver Island. Oh, that's quite a ways away from us, so. so it's but it's closer away. than 16,000 kilometers, isn't it? Oh, closer it? than 16,000, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gary, how you doing? W. Yeah, yeah, Todd W. You don't get a good morning from him, Dale and Scott. No, just just Greg and Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Move your monitor up. You'll see the bottom two guys as well. So today we're well, what, what, what's happening with you guys? I see lots of lightning from Newcastle. Thanks for getting up early, Dale. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, look, it's been hectic lately. We've had uh, days and days and storms, which is terrible for Astro. But uh, take the advantage and shoot lightning. Why oh. not? After yeah, you get absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And some of the shots he's been doing is just freaking crazy, absolutely crazy. Thank you. So the, the oh, process yeah. we'll talk about. We'll talk about your process, I guess, before we get on to today's subject. I guess. Um, actually, we'll do it right now. Um, I'll bring that up so people can actually see what on earth we're talking about. This is the sort of photo that we're talking about. Um, I can see by your description here using even longer stacks, sixty by five seconds. Explain how you yeah. do that, mate. Oh, absolutely. So even though with the intervalometer feature there, really helpful for this thing. Once you get the right focus and exposure set in, uh, for me, uh, lightning does start, unfortunately, before the dark starts. So I do whack a ND filter on there just to bring it all wow. down to make it a slightly longer exposure. But you don't really want to hit that one second. You kind of want to go just below it. One second is quite bright for lightning. Uh, it's, it's incredibly mm -hmm. bright. <laughs> um, yep. But yeah, look, I just, once I get everything set, I just let it go. I set it to max maximum durations. I normally do about 10 oh. or 15, um, just so I don't miss lightning strikes in between those saves. But uh, yep. I was on the top of a big walkway. And any movement along that entire walkway will just make the entire shutter move. So I thought the smaller, the better. I'd rather get a yep. consistent bolts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then just yep. stack Again. them all what, in Lightroom. Yep. Yeah, yep. Pick, pick all the good bolts, um, throw them into Lightroom as layers, um, change the blend mode to lighten, lighten mode, and um, done. Yeah, start editing away. So it's, it's reasonably easy. Yep. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. I didn't know there was a lightning blending mode. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about Photoshop, right? A Photoshop lighten, sorry, lighten blend mode. Oh, yeah. lighten. Okay. They should call it lightning blend mode. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> be, yeah. Adobe. I'll, I'll have a look now for some of Baker's photos because he's been doing some, uh, I don't want to say it too loud because that. <laughs> the beanie might pop up. Out. That's right. <laughs> but he's been doing some some pretty bloody good photos too. Even though he doesn't. Well, in the chat that we have, we don't really hear too many good things from him saying how good he is, but I think it's pretty bloody good. Thank you. Appreciate that. Look at that. That's just a really average photo, but we'll look for a better one. That's better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty okay 
Oh, it's really good. I think you channel, um, you're, you're like the Canadian version of Andy Green channeling the. the yeah, world. yeah. <laughs> Andy you is a big inspiration the... for me. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Super silky. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. There were some other ones these year. Oh, this year. I like this. That's probably yeah, my favorite photo yeah. from you, I reckon. I think it's sensational. That is that cool. Was... I, mm. I can't shoot there anymore. This was the spot that was up the road for me. And um, it was a, uh, a plot of land um, and basically got sold. And so yep. I'm no longer able to, they're building a house on ah. there right now. So <laughs> I can't get to that spot oh. anymore. To, I was like, oh. So there's no one picture of your there face, yet. not this guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so no one lives there yet. They're just building a house, right? They're building it right now. Yes, that's correct. So they're not there at like. The well, uh, there, there's they have a, a camper there right now, so that it's, oh. it's. I think I think they come down, you know, during during the weekends and stuff like that, and and everything. Yeah. But I I I'd rather not. Yeah. Just, Every every single just off off subject. Every single live stream that we do, there is always a Facebook user that says hi. And we go hi Facebook user because they have a, a security <laughs> thing, and it's Lorna who does it because I saw a, a post there and she's done it. She's nailed it. She's worked out the security settings and what did Lorna? That's funny. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's. I guess we we'll have a. Do we need to show photos of yours, Greg? People know what you do. You I take haven't really taken that many lately, here. but as long as it's not that uh, Facebook photo we just took, share all oh, the my, photos with Greg. My profile, his picture? profile photo. Yeah, <laughs> his profile. That's photo? like can it, can it, can it is most wanted. That's like thirteen <laughs> years old. That picture. I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like a stalker at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm still um, going to leave it there. That's, oh, I wasn't going to put it right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wouldn't be right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll look at some other photos after because I think it's relevant to what we want to talk about here today. And I'll, what we're talking about is what people do wrong. And there's very common things, I think, that people do wrong with all sorts of photography. And with mobile photography, I think it tends to get even more so. Um, and I want, I want to, we'll go through a few things, I guess, um, and then we'll go through some photos and not so much a critique, if you like, but give examples of um, what we're talking about. Does that make sense? Yep. Yep. Sweet. <laughs> I'm glad it does to you guys. Will Newgham, <laughs> he's in the building, unplanned. It's a bit early for you. Ah. Isn't it, Will? Which building? Yeah. This building. <laughs> 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 did you have a gig last night dale did i go to a gig last night no we did you play at a gig oh no i didn't play at a gig but i've been jamming right. with a new band which is cool uh, yeah yeah because i'm thinking you're up awfully awfully early for someone who's a muso oh you know sleep is for the week <laughs> <laughs> if, only, if only the clouds were not out i'd be out yeah there. sleep's overrated <laughs> sleep's <laughs> overrated. so um <laughs> We'll talk about you disagree. <laughs> That's disagree too, right? <laughs> so when, when it comes to, to phone photography, I think each phone has its own sort of quirk. Um, like like the app, like the iPhones with the sunsets and like the nuclear sort of look to the sky that it tends to get, like the nuclear Cheeto sort of look. So you can't really get around that too much from the phone, from the shot. You can certainly My play with it just in the air. What's that? I said, am I buffering or is it just Shane? I think yeah, it was just you, dude. Oh, that, okay. that tractor trailer might have hit something when it was there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so um, I, I guess I've got a little bit of a list here that we'll run through. Um, and the first one is composition. And I put this here because of my co-host for the show. Because I know how much he loves. He loves this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just leave it it's like, like that. One... <laughs> it's one of his favourite things ever. In fact, if you, if you guys 
put a photo on the Bloody Legends <laughs> Facebook page and it's a little bit crooked, we will know about it in our in our private chat before we even see it on Facebook because Greg will take a photo, a screenshot and go, what the fuck? It's the only time we see that Canadian get angry. But I but, think Devo's done that, that too. Devo's done it too? I think he's put uh, examples on in, in our little chat. Maybe he's just trying to be friendly to the Canadian. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what is, get, what is it called, uh, Greg? What what did um, Brian call it? Uh, a Polish tilt or something? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. Yeah. It's sort of crooked. <laughs> Well, there there is a there, there is a, a name for it, um, and uh, Brian Matias talked about it on the podcast the other night. Uh, I just can't think of what it is now. I'd have to go back and check it out. But because <clears throat> he had a picture that he was showing with the horizon line, like it was in a boat, yeah. And it actually worked for this shot because when you're in a boat and you're kind of turning in the water, you're you're tilted a bit, right? And and that's what mm-hmm. he was portraying in the image, and and it worked, yeah. but. Mm-hmm. Um, had purpose it's... behind it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was artistic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There is a um, a YouTuber. Um, he's actually very. I've, I've only just discovered him. I can't think of his bloody name though. I'll find it while we're talking, and I'll show you. But he does. Um, he does very Casey Neistat sort of videos. Um, on a skateboard. Um. <laughs> I don't know if he actually has a skateboard. I haven't seen him riding a skateboard yet. Um, but the way he vlogs all these things. Um, On a skateboard? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the way that he cuts from scene to scene, um, he it's very much Casey Neistat, the way he tells the story and, and brings it all together with the music and everything. But so many of his, of his, um, of his cuts to him talking to the camera are very much on an angle and like he might have um he might have the top of the screen here while he's just talking <laughs> but it's done it's done really well i'm just trying to find him i can't find him i'll find him before we finish here but um getting around that because I've, I've done that plenty of times and i'll i'll give the the very valid reason for doing it is that it's just fucking dark and I can't see the horizon. Um, but there are ways around it. Greg? Because you don't do it. Ooh, ooh. How, do you, how do you get around it? Oh, oh I always ooh, use ooh, the, ooh. Uh, the level indicator in the camera app I'm using. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the level in the camera, or oh, the, 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 um, the artificial horizon sort of, Thing you're talking about yeah like in the in the camera yeah. app there's yeah. that there's if it don't it doesn't show up unless you're like off and then it, as you get closer it'll light up in yellow when you're lined up like scott's showing there and then and then it'll actually disappear yeah, when you're lined up yeah so I, I use that all the time any camera app i have i have turn it on and that's how i use it that's what i use it for before they added that i used it <clears> longer <throat> just for that <laughs> At least oh, really? the native camera app yeah. <laughs> like if, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, I just like to see, you know, the image. Way. And if it doesn't look level, it's because it's not. You know, if it's like a hill or something like that going through, or a, a shoreline can be deceiving. Shoreline um, are very yeah. deceiving. Yeah, yeah. because if yeah. you're, something on the one side of the frame is further away than the, and then it gets closer, it's going to actually look like it's tilted because it gets, it gets bigger coming towards you, mm. and it's yeah, going to be a little like deceiving. Second last photo there, Shane just brought up. It, it's it's very as it's coming towards you. Yeah, you can tell. I, I noticed that. I did notice that, but then I knew what the yeah. deal was. Not that one. Come Not back. that one. The that the one, one before that that you showed. There, yeah, that one, yeah, because it goes. If you look at the photo, like uh, sort of the inlet of the harbor is is right above the point of that rock the largest rock so mm-hmm. it's going away and then it comes back on the other side ah, so yeah, yeah. it's deceiving in that way but yep. it's, yeah 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 i think with um with that deception it's 
very dominant in your photos. I reckon every one of those photos that go up here, I kind of go, no, nah, it's crooked. And then I'll go and like, oh, no, it's crooked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it's crooked. You would not <sighs> believe the amount of time I spend on horizons trying to like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Beth, come look at this. And tell me if that horizon <laughs> looks right. Because I've stared at this photo now for 10 minutes and it's still wonky. And that's only because he doesn't <laughs> want to hear from me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, it's because he doesn't want to get all of us going, oh my God, what are you doing, yeah. Baker? <laughs> <laughs> so what... um. That that's probably the most obvious one with phones. I think is the the the, un, the wonky horizon, if you like. Um, are there any other like composition things that you guys see that are very dominant in phones? I can't think of any. Myself. I want to say like not particularly just phones, but um, the biggest thing I see is not taking your time, like rushing through mm -hmm. the photo. Because I'm guilty mm -hmm. of it, and it's my biggest mm -hmm. thing. I get there, I get set up. It's like, okay, I got to take the photo, and and I forget to switch to like raw from uh, live photos, and uh, oh, I can't yeah. tell you how many times that's bit me in the ass. I've gotten home, and, yep. and why are yeah. all these look yep. like? Oh shit! Because <laughs> I'm in <laughs> such a rush to get set up to get it right, and uh, yep. to to get, and and then I realize I'm making little mistakes like that so yeah. just take your time breathe and check your settings <laughs> yeah there, there are videos that i've done where i've been like super excited to get and just shoot the video to see what it was like when this first came out yeah incidentally damn you and your bloody <laughs> hug the earth sort of situation but this case this case is just like see that that's just from using that case that's what is that case that you got Greg? fine woven I got yeah, the same one. I, I'm actually one. using it right now, so I can't show you. But it's it's not as bad as that. But it, it is showing a bit of wear. Fine, because it's patina. Yeah, like they call it, it. patina. <laughs> a cow wouldn't have done that. Just saying. Well, <laughs> in all honesty, it would have, but it would have taken a hell of a lot longer. Well, it wouldn't be there yet. Probably mm. no. That's what I mean. Yeah. It would take a lot longer than to get. Like it doesn't even mm. get that bad. But that is yeah. that's that's terrible. Patina is nice. That's not nice. That's like that's not, yeah. Not yeah. Nice. They're not nice. they're terrible cases. Like you see reviews of crack and falling apart like within weeks and months. And to this yeah. day, I think it just feels weird. Like it just oh, feels I, weird. I, I don't mind it. I, I I don't I don't mind how it feels, and it certainly protects the phone that the way it needs to protect it. Just that now it looks yeah. just like does this guy use his phone for a living or something? It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but when i've when i've shot that very first the iphone 15 pro max video and i went out there and shot this thing and i was just like blown away by how actually like you saw like the legit reaction to that photo in that video finished the video walked away and went oh, i got not shoot anything in raw <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Could have done that better. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. Take, taking your time, 100%. I 100% I agree with that. Yeah. Anything to add, Dale? Uh, I think go? that's covered in composition. I think that's that's kind of covered it there. Being purposeful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely agree. Really thinking yeah. of what you're you're hoping to achieve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plan ahead. Well, that... Yeah. God, you can see my notes. The next thing I have, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> I took notes too. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Planning. <laughs> it's a beard thing. Think alike. So, so, so planning, I think, for especially for astro, or actually for anything really, mm. any landscape photography, you need to plan yes. that. Yep. Um, and as you were just saying before, like. When you don't plan, you generally get into a bit of a fluster of like, shit, that could be good. Could be, maybe. You don't know if it could have been better because the, the sky is doing something different. You may not have got access to a place. They might be building a new house there. Um, it's having the end result in mind before you set out the door. Like yeah. what Dale did with that lightning stuff, that was, um, that was from your house, wasn't it, mate? Uh, one of them, yeah. So one of them, 
Uh, the coastline yep. one was um, just a five minute walk. Uh, the second one over the city was from my house while I was editing yep. the first one. <laughs> oh, <is> that right? <laughs> That's from your house, yeah? Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah the coastline one is pretty bloody good too. And yeah. This one here is not exactly planned, is it? This is like, shit, that's still going on. I'm going to set something up. Exactly. Yeah, it got home and, and it was still going. Yeah. So I thought, well, let's just may as well leave yeah. it running. It's just data. I'll just delete it in yeah. the end of the day. It's fine. Yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. Right. Um, so do you have anything to add with planning, Greg? Um, no, not really. Uh, I mean, the you know, just just definitely think ahead, check the weather, all that stuff. You know, um, just the usual suspects when it comes to to planning ahead. Uh, you know, maybe get an, an app like Photo Pills or something. Mm-hmm. You know, to mm-hmm. to incorporate that into the process. Yeah. Popular here, uh, a tides app because there's nothing worse than oh, yeah. going to a location and the tides That's are really good. low or super high. Yes. And uh, yeah, yeah. Know, mm. There's one shot I've been wanting to it. get now. And uh, I got to wait for the tides to be right because right now it's, it's they're super low and, and it just wouldn't look good. So, um, uh, yeah. That's interesting. It's something that I haven't thought of because I don't do that. But Yeah, same here. I've looked at that for too. Milky Way. I would love to get this a tree near my mum's house where the tides come up and they're kind of in the sand. So there'd be like a tree in an ah. ocean kind of covering it. I'd love to get the Milky Way there. It just never, it never aligns. All of them never align together. So. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's your Goldilocks one, eh? <laughs> it is. Yeah, uh, it's in my mind. There you go. That goes to but plan. With the Ast- I've, I'm be planning it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With the Astro stuff, it's it's all about planning. Like the the epic photos are all about planning. You can't like the stuff that that I do here. Say, how good is this phone and this phone? It's it's like that's just we're looking at stars really, and sometimes the foreground. But some of the stuff, like the tractor stuff, it's planning involved in that, working out what time of night you need to be there, um, working mm-hmm. out what the weather's doing, working out what the moon's doing, all that sort of stuff. And if you don't tick one of those boxes, just one, it, it won't work. It's, it's mm-hmm. as simple as that. It's, like Astro is probably, I would say, it's the easiest genre of photography that you could do. Once you know how to do it, it's the easiest one to do. And then as you walk around in the day, you go, that's a subject. That's a subject. That's a subject. And before yeah, you know it, yeah. you're pulling up photo pills going, come back on this day. Come back on this day. Then you go back and take those photos. All the photos that I have hanging in my house are exactly that. I've, I've seen a cool subject and I go, there's no lights around here. I can get this photo. When do I need to come back? Oh, it's April, mm-hmm. whatever. And I'll, I'll go back then and take the photo. There's definitely planning involved in that. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. And planning with the tides. I hadn't thought of that. That's a good point. That's a really good point. My next point is editing. <laughs> and yeah. Does anyone want to take that one or not? I think I, my editing point I, I always like to think of is less global edits and more local adjustments. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of people, or even just editing in general, I see a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with authentic just straight out of the camera, but yep. editing can take a photo to the whole next level. And it's not yeah. cheating. <laughs> it's part of the process. No. <laughs> no. But it's to go to that you shoot phase, raw. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. You, you yeah, need yeah. to. But I think it's yeah, really yeah. it's really good, like instead of using a, a vignette, really just maybe just create a you know, get the ground or the foreground to be nice and dark to draw the attention in, but maybe you don't want the sky to be dark. Mm-hmm. You know, think outside the box of of just having the easy sliders and affect mm-hmm. the whole image. Not everything needs to be a. The sky's not sharp, <laughs> you know. Clouds yeah, yeah. are soft. They're not sharp. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because with editing comes style, right? You 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 can have a style. You can have you can create your own style by shooting. Um, specific subject matter. Uh, you know whether it's street photography, or whatever. But with editing, you can take your style and make it a whole new thing you, you can you, mm. maybe somebody wants to do all black and white uh you know there's there's different ways to to uh discover your style through editing and mm. it, you know photography is a form of art and editing is the icing on the cake when it comes to that so you know mm. definitely start editing you know and mm. you don't have to do like dale said you don't have to go crazy you don't have to 
Um, you know, you keep it simple, but as yeah. you explore the different uh, components of an edit, um, you know, you, you could definitely do some really cool things with an image. Hmm. Yeah. When yeah, I am, um, I would be. Like... Sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. After you. When I get wedding inquiries to shoot weddings, which I'm doing later today, what a day! Um, every time I, the very first phone call I have with people is like, go to my website, see what I do, and make sure because that's what I do. Don't come back to me later saying, I want you to edit it this way. That's not what I do. And every, every, every photographer is going to be the same. You're going to have your own style. And my, for some reason, I don't know what it is, um, rural weddings at the moment, the editing style seems to be blow out every highlight you can possibly blow out and make the photo as white as possible. And I'll just go, what's wrong with you? And with that in mind, I've, I've actually had people say, oh, can you edit it like this? Like, no, that's not me. It's yeah just not going to do that if you want that find, find someone else to do it it's i'm not your man so your editing style is absolutely yours and and i think that comes with time and experience yeah. in oh, yeah. editing that, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. the more you do it the more you'll find oh, i like that i like that and there are photos of mine that i'll look at from years ago and go what was i thinking that looks bloody horrible yep. but, <laughs> and you will develop your style over time but you just will yeah and 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 that's Dale's that's, that's absolutely noticeable. On the money. It's noticeable because yeah. I've seen people on Instagram that I've been following for quite some time, and when I see an image of theirs, and I uh, I could tell right away whose it is. You know, Andy Green, very obvious. Um, Scott, I'm getting to see yours are are very uh, you know Andy Greenish. They, they stand out. <laughs> no, no, but I mean <laughs> they stand out. That, it, that's a, that's a Scott Baker edit um dale i i, I yeah. can pick out yours uh that's because you know, there's, there's lightning bolts all through his man <laughs> <laughs> but there's you know or, there's or, other, or a time that's people to newcastle yeah but there's other people who i could see an image and without looking at the name i know exactly who took that and 99 yeah. percent of the time it's right just mm. who i thought it was so you know yep. you could definitely yep. get a style uh yeah yeah you would absolutely get um um, you you would get to the point where you're you and I do this with I do this when I look through the the bloody legends group, um, and and it's the same with it's the same with editing. I'll look at photos as I'm scrolling through, and I'll see all the galactic core photos. We'll start seeing that now. I reckon in the next probably two months, we'll start seeing a lot of them on that group again because the northern hemisphere will start seeing it like we do down yeah. here now, and. You'll be able to look at those photos and go, that was a Pixel, that was a Samsung, that was an iPhone, and you, and, and that was a, 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 a Xiaomi. Um, you'll, you'll see it. The iPhones are very, very, very obvious, especially the older yeah. iPhones. The newer ones, not as much, but the older ones, absolutely. And it's Greg the same with the one. Say again? Was it again. Greg just took a, uh, I think it was Greg, you took a nighttime photo just recently and stuff, and... Uh, it was, I just, uh, it just was posted stars. it. I, I, yeah. I had taken it a while ago, but yeah, I just posted it recently. And it was, um, it, you know, did you? I actually, you know, when that was, was when the um, uh, meteor shower was uh, back in October, I think. Mm -hmm. And I went out to this spot and I thought, okay, put it on night mode, took a 30 second shot. Let's see them. Nothing. I didn't, of all the shots I took, I'm not, not one. And I had a, photo pills, everything right there. That's where it's supposed to be. And it, there was nothing. So yeah. I was kind of ticked off. But that was one was of that the, was the 15? A, yep. Okay, yeah. So that it's, photo I was going through the other day, I think it was yesterday maybe, and it was like one of the first ones I think, that's an iPhone? Wait a minute. Let me go back and look at that because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, it's yeah. Happening. All right. Yeah. What you should have done, Greg, is got even longer, put it on the star files mode and put it up there. And then every single meteor that came in would be automatically removed because it's so good at doing that. <laughs> yeah, <really. laughs> yeah. That'd be that the way finding be your voice in photography. In you want it. It's what's that, sorry? I said that should almost be a toggle, like turn that on, because sometimes you, maybe you want meteors in your shot. Well, I think if you want to have every um plane satellite meteor use re-expose if you want to have it like nice and crisp star trails use even longer 
Just I wonder if you just use the, shorter exposures with even longer. If it would like, I wonder if you have to have it going for a certain amount of seconds for it to kick in and remove them. Because I, I mean, my I use, I mean, I normally use even longer on much shorter. I don't really have one long exposure. Um, I'm so used to using mm. it for time lapse purposes, and I definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. still have um, quite a lot of things that I have to remove after the fact. But that's because I do it that way. I wonder mm. if you can it's do a, that. That's not using star trial mode, though, is it? Using star trial mode, but just setting, not just having one long exposure, but having, say, like 15 seconds or 30 seconds and having ah, many yeah, photos yeah, yeah. and then stacking them in post. I definitely mm. still have things. Mm. So I do wonder That's if there's a period of time where it smooths it out and then removes it. It probably does it at the end when it builds the trails. You would have to know what start. is a trail and what is a, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and and when you think about how that would work, all these arcs of, of star trails and then anything that's straight is not going to be, or probably not going to be. I would say that's how yeah. we've done it. Yeah. yeah. It's very clever, regardless. It's it's very clever. Um we'll talk about apps in a minute. I'll put that at the end actually. We'll talk about apps and when we would use which one when we get through all these, mate. We'll put up a, a very valid point there. In the dirty lens yeah uh, yeah because that's mm -hmm. i'm absolutely guilty of that absolutely and i'll and i'd put money on it that everyone here is oh yeah <laughs> but maybe not greg greg's kind of i don't know greg i kind of think is the yeah greg walks around with the polishing oh. cloth all the time I was trying to work out a nice way of saying it, but I couldn't work out a way in my head to say it without sounding insulting. But well, I didn't mean this to be insulting. This is my polishing cloth right here. Yeah, yeah. I just, <laughs> I'll take my phone and I'll just wipe the lenses on my shirt. This is my polishing cloth right here. <laughs> it's your style. It's your thumbprint, you know. You're getting this there style. There you go, right? yeah. <laughs> it's literally got my fingerprints all over it. Yeah. <laughs> but the dirty I, lens I is don't... absolutely on the money. I don't 100%. always clean my lenses though either. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just as guilty as anybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've oftentimes, um, if it's in my back pocket, I'll reach for my phone and I, I know I'm grabbing the lenses and I just well, take the picture anyway. Yeah, yep. yeah. And, and I think the clean, the dirty lenses becomes even more relevant <clears throat> when you're putting on external lenses. I think. Mm, yeah. But yeah. it yeah. makes it even worse. I think. Um. But the, I think the dirty lens bit would go into that, maybe your planning bit, maybe, I think. To an that's extent. probably, you well, know not, what, not... that's probably the sole reason Adobe made the dehaze slider. <laughs> the dirty lenses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That and um, white bands on the five times. That's why it's there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, not many people would probably know about that, eh? Should, should we, like out the big problem that's there that no one really talks about i'm really surprised more people aren't talking about it like it, i think it's uh, because most people are shooting in pro raw because pro oh, raw yes. doesn't have the issue that's right i can't yeah. imagine many apps these days are using the raw format anymore mm. so potentially why yeah that makes sense that's pretty great mm. this is this is the um this is the problem that we're talking about is the band that you see across the top of the image mm. so we're seeing this with with different apps it does do it with different apps as long as it's shooting raw on the five time zoom and i'm not sure is it long exposure as well or not i haven't tested that's something that's not long yep. exposure have you got some? yeah it is yeah yeah it's on just a regular yep. shot yep 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 mm. but you can see the band across the top of that there and I don't know if you guys remember on that photo there mm -hmm. that has a band across it. That's when I first encountered it. Yeah. When I sent it to our little group chat and Dale went, oh, you've got it too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying when you realise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah. Will going off. You're going over the top, man. Wow. Zeus. Zeiss a cleaning cloth. We learn there. Wow. Yeah. That fancy. That's interesting. I, I was. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that again in a minute. We'll, actually, we'll talk about it now because we'll, we'll talk about accessories, I suppose. 
because that would be an accessory, would it not? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm just going to grab something. Is it a bag? I bet it's a bag. <laughs> <laughs> or a cleaning cloth. It's a bag. <laughs> <laughs> So I've been sent something to review, and it is awesome. It's it's probably, I would argue that it's the best camera bag I've used, uh, with the exception of my crumpler bag. But this is, um, it's not just for phone photography. It's, it's, it is for phone photography, but it's not just for phone photography. And it's done really, really well. But the, uh, the front of it here, you could mag safer. A phone to it if you wanted to. Oh, nice. If you wanted to sit it there and watch something on your phone. But this here, this case, this this flap here, because um, this would be over your shoulder, obviously. And that's, that's magnetized at the front there. And you would open this, but there's all your lenses uh, that sit in these pouches here. It's quite clever the way it's done. And it's got these other, other like inserts, like that's one of them. And you get choices of which ones you put in there, you know. Um, and, and I was looking at this and I'm starting to use it. I'm like, this is pretty bloody good bag. And it was the reason I asked you guys that question on, on that chat the yeah. other day about what lenses do you use? And, and I, and I go back to, um, oh, there you go. They're, they're, they're dirt cheap. Oh, there we go. Mm. Um, I go back to the beginning of when I started this, pardon me, this channel of it's phone photography is easy. You've got it in your pocket, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and we get to the point now of I'm going to need a Sherpa soon to carry all the shit to take a photo with my phone. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Yep. yep. And, and where, where do you go? Like, um, and, and I've done, <clears throat> I've done reviews on it and stuff with, all the shift cam lenses, I think there's like, I don't know how many is there, Greg? There's probably eight or something lenses in that. It's a big uh, kit of lenses. Yeah. <clears throat> and which is the reason I asked these, look, the lightning guy's been hit by lightning. I see him. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, no, he's back here now. For some reason, it was doing this for me. He was <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh, <laughs> it was like a black hole. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 Don't know. Maybe maybe StreamYard was just prioritizing Canadian traffic over the Australian stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's going the but, wrong side of the way around the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's a, here you go. Here's a question. Yes. In Australia, do loading things go clockwise or counterclockwise? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That I don't know. Good. I'm, I'm going to have to check. Just hold on. I'll check it. Nah, just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I asked the question about uh, like in, in reflex was just done there. Uh, G series lenses There's probably like six, seven, eight lenses there as well. Uh, and yeah. and it's not just those two. There's other companies that have a bucket load of lenses. Mm. And I don't know if you if you go and buy all of them or buy some of them. And I asked you guys. In our, in our private chat, which is becoming less and less private because I talk about it more and more in these live streams. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I asked you guys, and I've, and I've actually called other um, content creators and asked them, like, are you using your lenses and which ones are you using? And the general consensus seems to be either, well, one, it depends on the phone that you have. Two, I'm going to use macro all the time. And three, what was the other one? Anamorphic lenses. That was it. They're, they're the three responses that I generally got. Um, yeah. and, and I've got to agree with that. In my experience, I, I agree with that. All right, there, there's how many lenses are on this thing apparently, Greg? How many cameras are in this? It's supposed to be oh, yeah. seven different focal lengths, and they're all incredible. They, they are incredible. <laughs> it, um, Two times. Two, two, times two, times, two times more incredible. <laughs> two times more incredible, yes. <laughs> so you, you get to the point where you go, uh, 
Well, when I review stuff here, I, I review, and I think I've discussed this a little bit before. Um, I'm in a different position to what the person who is looking to buy something is. Uh, I wasn't looking to buy anything. Someone's asked me to look at this and review it and present it to you guys. And that's what that's what I do. That's part of what I, my job is. But I've not not since the very, very early days of the channel have I gone out and gone, I want to buy a lens to do X. Just haven't. Mm -hmm. um, if, I, if I was into macro photography, and I think everyone should be at some point, because I think we've discussed about getting out of a rut in photography and trying something different. Macro is quite good for doing that. So a macro yeah. lens, I think, there's, there's definitely an argument to having a macro lens, whether it's a regular one or a long-range one or both. And unless you're into filmmaking, you wouldn't use an anamorphic lens either. Is that yeah. fair to say? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I mean, So what else you, would you have? You could play around with an anamorphic for a wide, sh <clears throat> like a wide view shot, you know, mm -hmm. then bang, you have it, you don't know cropping or whatever. But mm -hmm. it, it's, I would say it's mostly for filmmakers. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What else would you use there? I what could see would, using would, a... Would you use personally? Yeah. Go ahead, Dale. Oh, I, I mean, I used to use the tele lens all the time. I started on the wide. Um, I was a moment uh, lens person. And that's why all my cases have always been moment. Now uh... I found myself no longer using the lenses as much. I think the as the iPhones go on, the native camera is just getting pretty good. It's it's almost as good as the lens. It's not almost worth carrying and having to, you know, having to make sure it's clean and <laughs> it's an extra mm. step. It's an extra thing to worry about. Mm. There's there's no more point anymore. So it really makes you think, uh, why do we do it in the first place? You know? Well, I think there has to be a genuine need to do it. But the yeah, I've reviewed. Look, wait, sorry. No, I was going. To, I was just going to say you're looking for a specific focal length or a, a specific look or something like mm -hmm. that, and that would be like um, David Addison did a, a video on the two X lens, the G series, and stuff, and he was going purposely for portrait, a certain look, and stuff like that. And so, if that's what you do, then I could see getting a lens for that um mm. but beyond that i, I just don't see yeah uh, well, the the stuff. biggest advantage to using these lenses on an iphone on the main camera is you you'll get these different focal lengths at 48 megapixels that's yes. the biggest advantage right there yeah and the aperture the aperture is a big advantage yeah oh yeah yeah, it's got the yeah. it's got the largest aperture, but um, yeah, I mean to get not at nighttime mode though, like you can't do no night mode's totally different. Yeah, mm. yeah. no, but the, the what I'm referring to is with the night mode with the aperture, um, the wider angle stuff. So I, I've been, I think it might have been Sandmark maybe when they asked me to review a heap of lenses, and I said, well, just send me this one, this one, and that one. Otherwise, yeah. the, uh, there's no point in me doing them. It's, I'm not. I don't use them. It would be disingenuous to use them. I remember. Uh, oh, and in that video, I did um, like this much of the night sky. At mm -hmm. that, I can't remember what what camera it even was. Now it might have been like f one point four, say. Um, and here's a lens, and now we've got this much sky at f one point four. So it made sense for that use case. And I remember the first set of lenses from. I want to say it was reflex. It might not have been reflex. And I remember walking up. Mount Hope and trying to find a use case the whole way up to use every single lens. And they're just, you could do it. And I found use cases for it, but I, in my head, I'm like, how often would you actually do that? And I don't know all the audience, like some of them might go, well, I do want that, 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 that zoom lens on my telephoto lens on my camera. I think yeah. um, the, I think that the, the length, the camera, like that there, even with just using three cameras on this phone. Who was that that you had on your podcast, Craig? Jack Hollingsworth. Arguably one of the best portrait photographers with phones, and he doesn't use anything. Right. No, no lenses. So 
with portrait photography, I think there's a story to tell there. With most photography, there's a story to tell there. And whether you're looking for that lens compression, that, that what you're probably, I haven't even seen that video that you're talking about, Scott, that David did, that I'm guessing it's got to do with lens compression on the, the longer, the longer yeah. lens. And that's, that's a nice look to have. Um, yeah. But, well, when you've got someone like Jack Hollingsworth doing it, and that's what he does for a living, and like I said, he's arguably the best portrait photographer with phones and doesn't use anything, there's something to be said in that. Um, and I think yeah. what we've what we've seen um, with that recent launch, with the camera changing, this the phone changing from generation to generation, because uh, I know the reflex stuff, the previous versions, and other manufacturers, they the the, the telephoto lens worked on the telephoto camera, mm-hmm. and this one doesn't. So yeah. There's a, there's a case there you go, well, how much do I invest into that just to find out come October I'm going to have a new phone that it may not work on. I don't know. But in yeah, all honesty, when it comes to putting a telephoto on the telephoto, even though it may have worked in the past, the quality wasn't very good. You no, not anything at all. That no, I, it, it wasn't. You know. It wasn't. That. No, in saying that, I did that... Um, I think I sent them to you, Dale, the Freewell one. Did I send you Freewell stuff? Yeah, yep. That worked pretty well. I thought it worked pretty that well. That was good, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was the telephoto. I was using the telephoto in that on the telephoto on the 14, I think it was. It was, it was still pretty good. And I was I was shooting the moon with it and stuff, and it was, I thought it was pretty good. Um, there's other ones that aren't. I I, I, longer, ex- longer exposures, I think, would have smoothed it out and kind of hidden a lot of those kind of quality issues, I think. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, for sure. We're going to look at some of these comments. That would be Martin digging in digging in the green grass. Have you seen his YouTube channel? No. What? You mean you guys aren't into metal detecting in Wales? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> have to have a look. <laughs> the um, he just he, he basically see around here when guys go uh, out with with a metal detector, they're like looking for gold because like yeah. the gold rush was around not not here but an hour from here, so. That's what people do. They have, I have claims out there. They... <laughs> that, that, that Aussie Gold Rush show. That's such a load of shit. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but this guy goes out there and he's he's like uh, using his metal detector, and because he's up there where you know those buggers have been killing each other for centuries, there's like. Uh, co- old school coins and stuff, and it's it's pretty interesting the stuff that he finds. Mm. Devo's awake. Yeah. Morning. Why is he not? Uh, I don't know. I just, I just thought I'd better have a look to make sure he's not waiting there. <laughs> probably in a pub. <laughs> he probably <laughs> yeah. is in a pub. Uh, currently Get on the pub Wi-Fi. Come on, bro. Hundred percent agree with that, and I don't know if. But the best thing about the Pixel with is is Astro and the way it does it in the software. I don't know what a lens would do to that. I've never tried it. I don't know. I don't know if it would like break the Astro world or something. I don't know. Uh, have any of you dad with wildlife digiscoping? Ah, no, I have not. I know what you're talking about now, at least. So you would use. You might have seen that. Um, uh, what's it called? Adapter is what it's called. That oh, the, right. the the camera yep. adapter that went onto the telescope. You would use it on a spotting scope as well, mm-hmm. and it would work just as well. It's I had um, the select, and I still got the Celestron, and I've had it for a long time. I bought that one myself ages ago, and it's very good. But the plastic is a little bit bendy where the phone holds in, and the main thing is where the two dials are underneath. But like the X and Y axis are on the same shaft. So oh, yeah. at night time, especially, you're like, oh, I'll tell you that. Oh, fuck. Turn all the lights <laughs> off. Okay, which one it was. Yeah. Whereas the other one is like, there's that one, there's that one, there's that one. It's it's very obvious in the dark. But yeah. I haven't done it, but I see no reason why it wouldn't work. I think it would work just fine. Um, that's, that's a very good point. That's yeah. fair. That's yep. Pretty much where I'm at. Yeah. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. I've got a couple of NDs, a CPL, and, uh, and that's pretty much it. 
Yep. And, and we've seen use cases of that already in what Dale was talking about with the lightning. Yep. That yep. It makes perfect sense. To me, that makes... And the water as well, sense. like through the and day, the water. doing water trails. Yeah. Yep. yeah. But I think um, as far as lenses go, I think in the last couple of generations of phones, unless you've got a legit use case for that particular lens, you, you just wouldn't get it. And your use case is probably... Well, we're, all four of us have... Very, Dale and I are probably the closest in what we do. But all of us have different use cases for lenses. All of us. Like, yeah. you might buy... Well, Greg would buy a macro. I may not buy a macro. Um, Scott would probably use a wide angle, maybe, for your... for your Maybe? Maybe? I don't find a lot of wide angle stuff. Like, I, I, I've yeah. taken a few wide angle photos, but I, I just find often the... Sometimes it's okay, but for the most part, the regular is more than, you know, I don't often have to crop in it or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I, ha I have found since giving the 15 that in between the 3X and the 5X, so maybe having a telephoto, a 2X, just to kind of get you that 3X again or, or whatever on the main lens um, might be better, but... You know, it, it, I don't know. It, it's it's. There, I took one photo a couple of weeks ago, and literally, I was where I usually stand, and I had a backup, backup, and I was standing almost at the backside of a road with a ditch behind yeah. me, and I'm like, I can't go back any further, and I'm like, just it's like I I need a little bit more, <laughs> right? <laughs> So I could see getting something, you know, or, or, or use the one X and then cropping in, but then I didn't want to do that. So, yeah. So I, I see case for using, having a lens for the telephoto for that purpose, for those in-between shots. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And, and this kind of, the reason I put accessories there is that when I was, way back when I was teaching photography, people, would, and I'll do, go do Astro. Astro is probably the only genre of photography with big boy cameras where at some point your gear will hold you back that's as far as i can think that's the only style of photography that it will stop you like you might have a really old school camera that um the mm. sensor is just dog's bollocks and you go this is not going to capture stars any better than what i'm doing it right now and you need to upgrade the, the body of your camera but the amount of times that i've seen people upgrade a high-end camera to a higher grade camera and the photos still look like shit the, that's where the whole <laughs> gas thing comes from not the gear acquisition syndrome you can buy all these lenses <laughs> and i watch all these every time that a company launches something i see on their facebook pages oh, i've got my package and there's like 15 freaking lenses there I'm like, how often are you going to use that yeah how often is it going to make you any better to do what you want to do like I think having the genuine use cases is it. What, what about other accessories? There is one that I want to talk about. Like you've got tripods, you've got phone holders, all those sorts of things. If yeah. that's the style of photography that you're in, it's kind of hard to go wrong with that stuff, right? Yeah. <coughs> because the tripods are there to hold a weight of a, well, a camera of some sort. Yeah. <coughs> what, yep. what was that? I'll admit you. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. I was going to yep. use it today for, I was going to try and use, what is it, continuous, continuous camera or something? Oh, continuity camera. Continuity, oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, uh, yeah. I'm using my phone right now. And, you know, in uh, StreamYard, when you put, select your camera, it should just show up as, a, as an option. I didn't have the option. Should we take a moment? <laughs> <laughs> um, so let, uh, <coughs> tripods, you really can't. You can't go that wrong with a tripod for a phone. Um, the more often, like if, if you're watching, look, if you're doing like the long exposure stuff, what, what Scott does, you're doing lightning stuff like what Dale does, you do the Astro stuff like what I do, you're going to want a tripod. It just, that's, that's, that's it. And yeah. the more you do it, the more you might find, I don't want to get down the ground anymore to set this bloody thing up. Um, I'm, I'm too old for that. And I want to be able to like, at least like sit down or stand up. 
So you might want to upgrade to something that's going to be a bit higher than what Scott's got in his hand. Um, yeah. But really, you can't go wrong. You really can't. Yeah. Some of the the lenses, the the, the um, tripods that used to come to some of the workshops, and I and I'd look at them and go, "There's no way I put my camera on that thing. There's no way it's not holding." <laughs> yeah. But, but you don't really get that with phones. They're just yeah. you just don't. They're, yeah. they're not they're not there. And the same with phone holders. Um, there's certainly some El Cheapo plastic ones. Is that a plastic one that you had there, Scott? Yep. It is. Yeah, just a small yep. Uranzi one. Yeah. And it holds actually, it fine. It's a it's a nice phone holder. Actually, you sent me yeah. this one. So <laughs> <I'm not>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, I I personally I find the metal one. It's probably something I just had sitting there. I'm like, I'm gonna get rid of this shit. I'll send it to the Canadian bloke. It, <laughs> it's <laughs> the the metal ones. I just find a little bit more reassuring. Um, yeah, I bought a uh, you you um tripod holder yeah, or not tripod holder, phone holder, and oh, it's the bee's knees, cat's ass. Mm. Like it is, it is like. Um, I believe Andy Green uses the same one. He, uh, yep. we were talking about something, and he sent me a, a photo of his his setup. And I'm like, literally, I have the the, the exact same one. I think it's the, <laughs> the ST27 or something like that. I think and, I just bought uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it turn? Yeah. It does turn. Can you put it on the uh, tripod and it turns. I think it's the ST28. Is it black yeah. and red? Yeah. yeah, black and red. Everything I, you I was using is black and red though. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all my tripod, all my phone holders. They're not all black and red because they're all different brands. Yeah. I, I find myself more often than not, believe it or not, using the MagSafe ones. It holds it just fine. Oh, and, I'm no. so hesitant all you to ever do that. Oh. <laughs> Two thousand five hundred dollar phone just hanging there. Oh, I know. I, 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 have, I do it all uh, the time. Yeah. Let's see. I don't know if I would do it for. What you guys are doing, to be fair, yep, yep, yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, I, I have a moment, uh, MagSafe one, and I do use it sometimes, but often where I am, rocky shoreline, and it's often very breezy here. And mm -hmm. if I drop my phone, it's going in the drink, it's going between rocks, it's I'm mm -hmm. never seeing it again. It's off a wharf, right? Yep. I don't trust that to like, mm -hmm. I'm clumsy. I'm going to bump it and it's gone. So it's <laughs> yeah. secure, tighten it in, lock it in. That's right. Yeah. I yeah. broke mine. That's why I had to buy two more because I was over tightening <laughs> the damn thing. <laughs> I <didn't> trust it. <laughs> yeah. I think if it, I use the MagSafe one for pretty much all my Astro stuff. But as yeah. soon as I'm out there doing star trails, I don't think I do use the, the MagSafe one. I, I have to think about it, but I don't think I do. I reckon I use the the Explorer one, you know, the, the, the silver one with the clamp that screws down to the phone. Um, and it holds it physically like that without a, not the magnet. I reckon that's what I do. But I definitely use the MagSafe ones for pretty much all my Astro. But I, I find it's... Um, you get the the rough sort of general direction right, then you go. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit off. They all just swap sides. <laughs> what yeah, did you do? do? <laughs> all I know, he wants to be Aussie on one side, Canada on the other. <laughs> this is like a uh, what is the um, oh my god, I can't think of the name. You know where they're all in the boxes. Um, Pretty oh, much. This way? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but the um, oh, well. the, the MagSafe ones. If I'm if I'm off, if my horizon's not quite flat, it's just a matter of like turning the phone yeah. on the MagSafe, and yeah, it's just quick. Whereas with the other one, you'd have to unscrew the ball head again and like move it again. And the, listen that to is, that first nice. problem that I'm talking about there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is nice. I, I've seen a few times I was using the MagSafe one and there's just sometimes just a little bit of movement, just a little bit, like it's not much. And I don't know if it's the design of the moment one where it's just a long rod and, and like, it's really uh, uh, slender and stuff like that, but it's just, I don't know. It's, I just don't. <clears throat> yeah. I, I... Well, I have two of them and 
One of them is the Explorer photo video one, the silver one. Mm. Um, and the other one is the Ulanzi one. And they feel, both of those feel absolutely secure. Like it, it's yeah. like, it's like, it's like a bit of effort to pull it off there. Um, yeah. And there's if no movement. longer than 30 noticed. seconds, maybe you want something that's tightening the, the phone. Yeah. Yeah. If it's a 30 second shot, yeah. I, it probably, it's yeah. not crazy windy. Mm. Yeah. 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 That's yep. the other thing. It's always so windy here and stuff like that. So yeah. it, it's just that little bit. And, and when your phone's landscape, like it's just, you know, any little Living bit. Living on windy, the coast, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It only really gets really windy here when I think, I'm going to go fly my drone. And then it gets windy. It happens like that <laughs> yeah. pretty much all the time. Yeah. I'm not going to oh, fly my I'm... drone today. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was a um, a comment that I had on a video uh, last week or the week before, and it was it was almost an aggressive sort of a comment, and and I've done testing around this. I've had a few comments like it about the same subject, and I've done testing with it, and I'm going to actually do a video on it once this moon phase finishes. I'm I'm actually going to shoot the video. Do any of you guys use a Bluetooth shutter or use your watch? I have before. To shoot? Uh, use my watch. Yeah, I have yeah, used it. Yeah, I don't. But generally, I just you use don't? a timer, self timer. Uh huh. And what do you? I mean, you're too cold. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you use now? I use my watch. I used to use a Bluetooth um, little clicker, uh, but now I just use the watch. Yeah. That's just for the camera app. Camera app, yeah. Even longer intervalometer. Okay. The reason I say this longer? is that... Can you use even longer on the watch? No, there's no phone. Yeah, no, okay. Um, okay. Oh, watch app, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, the reason I say it, the, the, the comment that I had was, I was talking to someone yesterday about this, about how I, like the iOS users and Android users... I've never quite got my head around this. It's not everyone, but there's certainly groups of people in both camps that are very much like Ford and Holden. I don't know what you have in the in, in Canada. It's very much like, um, I've got this, so you're wrong. And that kind of is the way the world is at the moment. <laughs> like, I don't like you, and you said the sky is blue, so you, it's pink. It's, that's just the way we are. That's just the way we are at the moment. I don't, I don't know why. The but, earth is round? No, the earth is flat. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we had a joke about this before. Oh, oh, Where your horizon's are always perfect. I mean, it must be fun, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Greg sent me this image before. Um, um, it was like how far away I am from where he is, and. That's that, hence the 16,000 kilometer bit under mine and what Greg's got under his. And it was just a map and like this line between the two. And I'm like, I'm on this side of the country now. So it'd be closer to go the other way, unless the earth really is flat. And then we, you've got to go that way. It's even further away. <laughs> what that, that was the actually earth is <clears throat> the, uh, the uh, GPS coordinates of where I am and then what it would be on the opposite side of the earth. Ah, so, right. Uh, the one in the ocean was the actual one. And then the one in um, Augusta, Australia was the closest city to that point. Ah, right. That's what that was. That's what that was about. Oh, I'm, glad you've, I'm glad you've made that clear now because I look at that and go, I don't know why you did that. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a partial screenshot of something. <laughs> but that makes sense now. The... Um, what what um, Lawless there saying about that's about the Bluetooth thing I'm assuming because mm. quite often they just don't work. Um, <clears throat> but what I was getting at was there was a guy who was really oh here we go that's what Greg was showing. So if anyone's interested, um, just here this these coordinates that's Greg's house. <laughs> Actually, not exactly. That's just the city. Zoom in and enhance. <laughs> general, general vicinity. <laughs> Truth be told, it's the the elephant's butt, and I, I went over that before with. Uh, you have, yeah. 
Yeah, where where yeah, I'm located. It's so like this it's... this um, yellow dot here, the orange dot, yellow dot. That's the opposite side of the globe to where yep. you are. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then that's no worries. The closest closest city. But when you when you look at that, you go, "That's the closest city." That is so far from where I am. Mm. It's even further from where Dale is. It's like freaking miles away. It's, that's like almost the width of your country away. It is the width of our country away. Yeah. Anywho. Um, <laughs> so what this guy was saying is basically you've got no idea what you're doing. You've got star trails and this, and it's because you're not using a shutter release all the timer. And you've, you guys have probably seen, I'm going to say 90% of the videos that I've done. Because none of you are like that hardcore that you're going to watch everything. Because some of them are just shit. It, the Astro stuff, you'll see me go on a tripod and go, there it is, lined up, push the button. And I'll put my hand on my heart and say, that has affected me touching that screen, has affected the final image that many times. Never has. It's never, ever affected it. And, and I've done it on purpose where I've like hit it, like, like to see if it <laughs> and never, never, ever does it. And it doesn't matter what camera it is, it just doesn't affect it. It never has. If it was a big boy camera, absolutely 100% of the time, I'd need to use it because as soon as you touch that button, that curtain's open, it's taken a photo. <clears throat> That's not the case with these. And it you takes know that. Why little... it does that? You know why it doesn't affect it? <clears throat> Tell us why. I'm going to get all geeky here Stay because as you know, the iPhone, as soon as you open the camera up, it's shooting frames. Just hold on a second. I've got to, I've got to um, write this down because I'm going to put it as a quick comment to reply to those YouTube channels. <laughs> <laughs> as, as you know, knew, is that N O O or K N O W? So as you knew, as you knew, I always get Scottish when I start talking Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> so the iPhone's shooting frames and holding them in the buffer. And as soon as you open the camera up, it does that. So you're on the tripod and you're going to get shoot, shoot some stars. You, you slam that shutter button. The phone's going to jiggle, but it's going to get rid of those frames and not use them because it knows that they're not going to be sharp. Mm -hmm. And that's all there is to it. That's, That's all why there is it doesn't affect it. Hmm. It's never ever. Science. I've never. <clears throat> it's science. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Incredible science. Two times. <laughs> yeah. But it's some of them are like, no, that's wrong. It always affects mine. I'm like, it just doesn't. I don't know what you're yeah. doing, but it's it doesn't affect it. Um, Mark Kerry, that's a name I haven't seen on here before. Uh, the only time I use Bluetooth clicker is when I'm taking astro shots in my backyard. I have a proximity light, so I set up. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. He's got a sensor light that turns on when he moves. Uh, That's what that is. Yeah. Uh, yeah and that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking, what, what light are you doing? I've got, yeah. Because I've got the same thing at the back in my driveway when I was shooting the, um, the pixel video at the backyard. And... I'd move I'm like fuck it. Stop that. <laughs> yeah. Turn that off. Come back here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think uh, my, my honest opinion is a Bluetooth release for Astro, it, it makes no difference. It makes not a lick of difference. Not nothing. Um I wrote here also form factor. And what I mean by that is that instead of walking around with a big big camera with a big lens on it you've got something that you can get like that close to the ground or that close to any other subject so you can get much more unique images out of this than what you can out of the big boy camera and whenever i've taught a workshop with these the first thing and, and we're all guilty of it let's take a photo of this and everyone goes like this yeah holding it right here because mm -hmm. it looks exactly the same as what it does right here yeah. And then I would, I would teach people like to hold your phone like this and there's your shutter 
and hold it upside down. You, you'll see me in some videos. That's that's how I shoot every every photo. Is upside mm -hmm. when I'm doing a, a vertical photo, it's always upside down. Always. It's the only reason I have this finger. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And as 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 the Baker line evolves, that will always be there. Yeah. <laughs> always. Yeah. I promise you. The stability. Yeah. <laughs> the stability digit. <laughs> we could joke about that, but it's probably not the right sort of platform to do it on. Um, <laughs> this is an I don't know what is. <laughs> this is a photography one. Photogra <laughs> Believe it or not, we actually do talk photography here occasionally. <laughs> um, what about apps? Because someone mentioned something before, and I wrote down apps, and I can't remember what the comment was. Dang, damn it. Could be like planning apps and stuff like that, like your photo pills and your... Ah, oh, this. Uh, yeah, that was the question. Oh, okay. That's why I wrote it down. Oh, okay. When you're you guys using different apps, I think Todd W. Can you explain when you? Yeah, there he is. Yeah. I've, I've literally put it on the screen. Yeah. So the Aren't difference you between when you would use even longer versus <laughs> re-exposed, which are Delay. basically the same, have the same purpose, but they are completely different animals, really, when you think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you know, we, we you've you've mentioned before, Shane, that even longer when it does when you do star trails, it shows the colors, different colors of the stars way better than re expose. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean and, and I, I would say better than anything else. Yeah. It's not just re expose, yeah. but it's better than anything else. Anything that I've tried. Yeah. And I've tried a lot here. Yeah. And you know, um and, and Mario's incorporated the uh you know the the algorithm that gets rid of satellites and you know, meteors and yeah. all that stuff so i mean that's a game changer too um yeah. uh, so i mean i'm, I'm kind of glad he says shane can you expand because <laughs> that's about all i got really i, I don't know <laughs> why you know I, I don't know what my reasoning would be at one over the other but because I, I don't use them nearly as much as as any of you guys do really Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I gotta fix that though. <laughs> I I find personally when when I'm doing it, I find even longer handles the blacks better, the darks and stuff. Whenever I have yep. a, a sunset photo, um, and I gotta bring up the shadows, for whatever reason, we expose they 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 have this greenish. Just it looks terrible the shadows when I bring them up, um, mm -hmm. and I have terrible issues with bugs with it. it flipping the image and stuff and and uh i don't know why i can't get away from it it's like every time i do a mm. photo it, it it flips the uh the preview and i know they recommend and i'm half curious because they recommend turning off the preview for the best performance but is that because maybe they know it's going to flip and <laughs> they'd rather you not see that i think that. it gets <laughs> a higher frame rate i think mario said that once as well with the yeah. preview up i think the frame rate is lower i think i might be wrong but yeah i think that's the case. i love the preview i mean i've reframed so many shots it's like i start to take a photo and it's like yeah yeah i don't quite like that i gotta twist it a little bit this way and stuff that preview is just so good and when it yeah. flips it sideways and it's compressed and 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 it just I keep going back to even longer. I just, it, it works so yeah. well and, and stuff. Not to say it doesn't have a bug hit here and there. I mean, it's electronics. They're all going to do, do yeah. stuff. I've definitely had some, bugs with even longer. Yeah. Yeah. Some yeah. weird double exposure thing last week, but, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, really seen it. I haven't had that. Advocate. Yeah. I have seen with, uh, like even longer, I've had issues with, um, and it's, it's an iOS thing, I think where, because I've done all the test flight stuff with like, like you guys have, I'm sure you get different versions of this app going through your phone. Pardon me. And we, we, up, we do a, we do an upgrade to the newest test flight and all of a sudden it's not saving photos. Like where the fuck are the photos? Oh, they're in files now. They're not in photos anymore. They're in files. It's in the, yeah, in the yeah. file folder. <clears throat> and I know with the thing that you're talking about with re-expose from memory, I was talking to Salvo about this. It had something to do with the the most one of the most more difficult things, not the most, one of the more difficult things that he had, I think from memory, this is a while ago, was that preview because of the way that the photos gallery app worked and he couldn't okay. quite get it to work that 
way, if you like. It, it, there was something with it he had a really hard had, had a hard time trying to crack. I might be wrong there, but I, I'm pretty sure it was something like that um, because I, I brought that up when I first started testing this thing. I was like, this is a pain in my ass. If I'm like this, <laughs> there's the preview. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my phone out now and, and have a look at this thing properly yeah yeah just to find that i've got to put it all back in now and just move it a little bit to get what i want it's not right the preview for me i always leave it on because of what i do though like almost all of my stuff is dark and if we're shooting raw all of these things all of these apps have issue with the raw shooting and that magenta cast so finding that Mm. right the correct iso for that location and that amount of light is critical for what I do. I don't want to set up a, yeah. a three-hour time lapse and go at, at three and a half hours. And go, ah, it's wrong. Um, yeah. It's absolute pain in the ass, and you can't really recover that magenta very well and yeah. maintain all the colours that even longer gives you in the stars. It's mm-hmm. it's a pain yeah. in the ass. So I, I I always leave it on. I get what you're saying as far as it drops the frames. I get that, and it's probably chewing the battery faster as well. It I don't, I don't care. I'd rather have the the photo. Yeah, the I've, I've, I've never, I've never taken. Maybe a, I should do that. Like take one side by side. Like you know, take a, a three minute with the preview and a three minute without the preview or something like that, and just see. Yeah, maybe you know, if, yep. if you could tell the difference. I don't know. Hmm. There's all sorts of times where I've gone. Oh, that's a good video, and um, <laughs> write that down. <laughs> but I, but I won't. That's not. A, it's a good video theory, but. <laughs> It's not. It's not a good yeah. video for me to do because, like, yeah. one, two, three. I'd watch it. Would watch it, <laughs> 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 and that'd be it. Uh, it's like, like I was saying yeah. to you guys before. Like, this is the this is the audience that we have, and this is the amount of people that would watch that. <laughs> it's like mm-hmm. it's such a fine line of people who would watch it. Um, to answer your question, Lorna, even longer. All the apps that we're talking about here right now is for the iPhone. It's. Um, Unfortunately, one of those things with Androids that no one makes one that's as good as them. It just there just isn't. Uh, I did see something on the, the, the Facebook group book, book group before, and that looks interesting. That looks like it's got potential. Um, mm-hmm. What's this called? Um, Pro, Pro Shot. Yeah, Pro Shot. It's not one that I've seen. Not one that I've used, I should say, but it might be one to look at. It might even work on the on the Samsung. So, yeah, check him out. It might be worth looking yeah. at. <clears throat> um, what other apps? What other apps? Do you guys use anything else? I think all of us use those, like the camera app, even longer, or one of the re apps. Yeah, pretty much. That's about it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, editing for, apps for handheld. There's mm-hmm. there's um, reheld, but there's Spectre and there's another one called Image Stack. Um, I think reheld does the better job. I I honestly do. I've tried all of them and I've had reheld is so good. Oh yeah, mm. I, I've had the best success with it. I said to those guys when they brought reheld out, I said you should have launched with this thing, but, like. It seems to me that there are that many manual apps now for, for cameras for, for iPhone. It's there's just there's heaps of them. I, I, I almost wish there was like you could go further than than thirty seconds. Like like it's so good like mm. like handheld, but you toss it on a tripod and like you do the full thirty seconds and stuff, and it's like wow, like it, it's it's just so good. Like you know, you almost mm. don't even have to do much editing to the photo because it's just mm-hmm. a JPEG. Yeah. It's got the processing and stuff like that. And and it's almost like the finished product. It's like yeah. like I'm going through my raw photos, and then it's like, oh my god, this one looks. Oh, that's my reheld one and stuff like that. Yeah, right? like it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn, that's yeah. good. Have you so, done a head to head as far as the Spectre thirty seconds and reheld thirty seconds, Greg? Oh yeah, yeah. When uh, when oh, Spectre. Yeah. When Spectre released their latest version, which um, enabled it to go yeah. thirty seconds, I I was at um, you know this waterfall and above the waterfalls, you know and you're on the bridge and you can look over the waterfall or you can look back where the dam is and I so 
I held my phone very, very still, elbows on the railing and everything else to keep it as still as I possibly could. I did 30 seconds with the, I believe I used the, um, the 5X. And I took the shot with reheld. You know, chef's kiss t- looked out, turned out pretty good. Now these these were, you know, in the fall when there was no leaves left or anything like that. So they're not great images to show off, but I just did it to basically test it for myself. Well, then I did the same thing with Spectre. And at about the 22, 23 second mark, and I'm holding it just as still as I did with Reheld, but it started to fall apart and things started to blur on it. And, uh, you know, I thought, okay, the heck with that. I'm not, I'm not going to, I mean, I have Spectre. I've, I've bought the, you know, paid the one-time fee, I don't know, years ago. So I've, I've got the, I get the upgrades, but um, it, when it comes to, you know, recommending an app to do this stuff with, mm-hmm. I have to say reheld because I just, yeah, yeah, it's sure. a champ, yeah. you know, and mm. it's really good. It's very impressive. It's when it first launched and um, I was doing a video about it, I searched high and low for something near me to, to, to shoot long exposure. Cause I just don't have anything like that here. I ended up finding a bloody, a water outlet. I think it was like in the middle of this yeah. dusty, like, barren landscape here's some water that's moving and that was it <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll because now i've got that other channel with the four-wheel driving i'm, I'm probably going to go the head the high country in the next couple of weeks and i'll probably end up shooting a video i think about those two like head to head and see how Question. they work because there's lots of waterfalls and rapids and things like that do yeah. they deliver whiskey to the high country <laughs> oh, i couldn't believe that no look Answer is no, but I'm fully self-contained in the in the cruiser, so I can take it. <laughs> yeah, well, for those that well, actually, for all of you, because none of you would know besides Devo, um, um, the um, um, is there someone else? Or am I missing something? No, or not? That's all. Um, Dale was out there shooting. Was it lightning? Yeah, lightning. Yep. And you did what now? Oh, I just enjoy whiskey while you're having lightning. And it's amazing, so right? <laughs> but you Uber eat. You Uber oh, eat. I got it delivered. Yeah, once I got home, I got it delivered. It was raining. Why not? <laughs> to celebrate. Oh, it's an you... amazing show. You got to celebrate it, huh? I think you got it delivered to sight. I mean, that would have been funny. Oh, I that's what I thought that. you meant. That would have been more <laughs> that... hilarious. I yeah. <laughs> I saw... Because we don't have Uber Eats where we are. Like, yeah. what was that noise? Oh, he's in trouble. Oh. Scott's out of there. Uh-huh. The, the tractor trailer must have turned up. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, we don't have Uber Eats here. Like, the, we've only got yeah. like two thousand five hundred people in our town. We don't have Uber Eats, and if you did, of course, you've got like three places. I think you could get food from. <laughs> oh, he's back again. And um, okay. so when you said that, I'm like. That's awesome. I could just imagine being at about Hope as I would like some whiskey, please. Check <laughs> <laughs> it out. That's funny. Yes. At some point this year, Dale, I am coming up to see you and we'll shoot we'll yeah, shoot some cool. shit together. But yep. part of that is absolutely going to be that. <laughs> test that. <laughs> yeah. yep, we're testing that. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, oh, this is a good point. Retouch. Touch Retouch is an awesome app yes. for oh, doing yes. this as well. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent incredible. Yep. So, yeah. to go back a little bit, two times. <laughs> to go back a little bit to, even when even longer first came out. Uh, so you had even longer. You had like uh, reflex reexpose, night, 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 night something. Cap, is it? No. Night cap. Night, night cap. Yep, night cap. Um, oh, there was a few others. Like moment app, moment and reflex is mm. pretty much very very similar app. Um, mm. What else was there? Oh, the the um, slow Astro shutter, shader. Yep. Astro shader. Yeah, all of these you could do the the star trails, and they all looked pretty much the same. Mm. Um, and that's when you would use things like touch retouch, and that I've even done videos about doing that and. How to, how to fix those up. But to go back to that previous question, when would I use this versus this? If I'm doing star trials, it's always even longer because you don't need to do that. You get color. But 
But absolutely, yeah. that <clears throat> touch retouch is a bloody awesome app for doing that. But it's not just for that. <clears throat> Even for what you guys are doing, like for for when when you're doing like your long exposure stuff on the shoreline, Scott, and you might have power lines somewhere, mm. that'll get rid of that, like yeah. that easy yeah. as oh, yeah. it. It just works so well. Some of the yeah, apps that really I, I look at like that, and I, then I throw it into like Lightroom or something. I go, it was easier with the app on the phone. <laughs> yeah, I mean that yeah. is something I wanted to mention on mistakes people make. We we don't take out distractions in photos. I see a lot of photos there, of not cropping the photo or not just retouching a little bit of the corner instead of the yeah, subject yeah. being right in the center, and then there's this, this you know, plastic cup or some, some trash in the bottom. Yeah. That's all I can look at now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. absolutely. And, You're on the money. and that kind of goes with taking your time, too, because I've been guilty of, I take this photo, oh, it's so nice, and I whip through the edits and, and share, and then I look back at it, and I go, oh, <laughs> I didn't do that, or I forgot to take that out, or I forgot yeah. this, and stuff like that. That would have looked better just tweaked a little bit and stuff like that and oh the horizon's crooked for greg so yeah <laughs> <laughs> got him <laughs> this, this this comment here I, i'm not sure if, we, if i've confused people here that they're even longer in reflexes for ios this pro shot which is what that photo is is android yeah absolutely mm. just so we're all yeah. clear on that i wasn't sure if i confused someone then or not um there's something that when I when I went to New Zealand, I went just on a photo tour, just like went around the South Island, just took photos. That's that's all we did, and it was it was awesome. It was one of the best times I've ever had traveling. And what I learned from that trip, because every single photo I took was long exposure, every single one. But I was talking like, what what was I shooting with then? I think it was my Canon five D. I reckon I was shooting with then, and. We were taking like 20 minute long photos, just stacking ND filters, you know. And what I what I learned, the thing I took away most of all from that trip, and it does apply to mobile photography, is shooting with intent. And it goes back to your planning. And it, it, but in line with that planning, I've got a photo in my lounge room that it links back to what Dale was saying there with the rubbish and stuff, where I've I've taken out rocks out of the photo when, I, when i've taken the photo i've gone my intent is this this photo here but that's going to be distracting that's going to be distracting and in my head i go can i remove them later mm. and if the answer is yes i take the photo if the answer is no it's not going to look good i'm not going to take the photo that intent yeah. is important <clears throat> and yeah. it was it's it's only for distraction um in that particular photo there was a few black rocks in the beginning, in, in, in the foreground, like there's a jetty going out and a lake out there, and there's all these grey and yellow rocks, but then there was one big black rock with, like, like gold lines through it, which is really interesting-looking rock. But then there were all these other big, well, there was four, I think, big black rocks. It just didn't, it looked like that was the focus of the photo rather than the jetty going out. This, this <clears throat> it was a busted-ass jetty. Like, you couldn't walk out of it. It was like a wreck. Um, but all the waters all like silky through it all. And it would just look like a magnificent photo, but all these other rocks were taking away from that. And with that, uh, oh, what is that? Um, uh, 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 I can't think of what the bloody terminology is in Photoshop. Content aware fill and oh, yeah, did it with that. Gen and it just works. VA and all that stuff. Yeah, it just mm -hmm. worked perfectly. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's a great, it's probably one of my favorite photos from that trip. And I took things out of it. But when I took the photo, I was thinking, can I take them out of it or not? So it's yep. having that intent. It's good to think of that process. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Ah, Patrika. Look, who got it. Every it time I, I don't see him in here, I think he's gone. You know? He's in jail. <laughs> I did see you send that to me. I had a quick look while it was going, and I haven't watched the rest of it. <laughs> he sent me a photo. Of, but it's being launched right now. Go and have a look. And I, and I quickly tuned in. And I had to do stuff, and I haven't even got back to it. I don't even know what the specs are, Patrika. I'm sorry, man. It's not a phone that I can get here. It's one of these. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. It's is it banned? I get asked. It's not banned. It's just it's had it. Had, there's so many things that we just don't get in Australia. Like we're not wanting for anything. Don't get me wrong, but there there is. If I wanted to get that phone, 
I would have to buy it overseas, trust someone with a couple of grand to mm. get that phone and send it to me. And um, th there is, you go into like Telstra is our biggest carrier that we have in this country. It's the there's others. There's there's probably like four, I think maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Is that what, yeah. that four? Um, yeah. But you go into a Telstra shop, you're going to find iPhones. You're going to find Samsung phones. You're going to find Pixel phones. You, you might find a Nokia phone for the El Cheapo tradie that wants to, yeah. he doesn't want to sit there all day looking at porn. He wants to actually make phone calls. So <laughs> you, you're not going to find that many phone brands in our shops. You just don't. Um, so when you want, like, when people say, oh, can you review the Oppo phone? Oh, actually, I think you can buy Oppos in Harvey Norman. Um, but certainly not the whole range in one of our stores. But you just don't get the options. So if you want them, you've got to go searching for them overseas. So, and yeah. um, that's one of them. That, that that brand is absolutely one of them. Uh, top editing. I have an Android emulator. Ah. Hmm. That's interesting. That's, uh, is that, um, oh, what was that called? There was something that Samsung used. It doesn't work on the Mac anymore. Um yeah. What was that? Dex. Yes. Because you could Rex. probably use things like Snapseed on, on Dex, right? I don't know. I've never tried mm. it. Doesn't matter. It doesn't work anymore anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's in the widest aperture tele lens. Okay. What was it? What was it? I didn't see. Was it 5X or 10X? I'm curious. <laughs> he comes out with the, the, the best comments. Here, likely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know he typed that with his left hand. I'm just saying. So you want to know what one of the biggest <laughs> mistakes people make with phone photography? That is... Not um... taking your photo? <laughs> it's... Especially those who come from like a, a, a traditional camera, but they expect the phone to work the same as a traditional camera. Mm. That is probably the biggest. That's a really good point. Make. Yep. Yep. You know, it, it, it works differently. It, it processes differently. It, you know, the end result. Yeah. It could very be, could be very similar to what you get with a um, tr traditional camera, but mm -hmm. um you know, so so my advice with with trying to fix that is to just play around with it and get to know what it does mm -hmm. and learn mm -hmm. about it, right? Learn yeah. how it works, because the more you know about the tool you're using, the better you're going to be at using it. Yeah, plain and yeah. simple. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. I was going to suggest that, is... that have days where you fail, like go out to with the intent not really to get the photo, but to see what the app can do. Especially yeah. if it's a new subject, mm. a new style, yep. a new app. You know, mm. don't expect yeah. to come home with something. Just expect Absolutely. to come home with knowledge. You know, of the next yeah. one. It's called R and D. That's like next level wisdom shit there from Newcastle, isn't it? <laughs> and that's all come I got. Home with knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> Come home with knowledge. <laughs> I think that's a very valid point, though. It's yeah. um, when I first started doing mobile stuff and teaching mobile stuff, um, it was hard to get my head into that space. So this is not the same. Don't treat it the same. And the funniest thing is when I go and I do very occasionally now, I'll do a one-on-one -on -one workshop with the big boy camera with someone who's just bought one and they say, oh, can you teach me how to use it? Yeah, sure, come on. And the amount of times I sit there saying, so grab your phone and do, grab your camera, <laughs> yeah. it up on the back of your camera. I say it all the time because this is my world now. It's it's bizarre. But to, to the, the use of this and the use of the big boy camera with the switches and dials, it's just so different. And it really is. The, the faster you can come to the, that acceptance, the better off you will be. If you're if you're in that space, like if you're sick of carrying all that shit around to take that photo, and you just want to do it on here, um, the quicker you can get your head around the fact that it's not the same, the better you'll be. The faster you'll be better. Um, variable as like a physical variable. I haven't seen that. That's interesting. 
on paper is very very impressive on paper. Years ago. Yeah. Come on to put in the. Oh, no, it was a Nokia, a Windows phone, I think. Had a variable aperture, I think. Well, Samsung tried it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah, they did really, try one. yeah, yeah. A long time ago, people did it. Um, is this a new coins photo? Hold on, I'm just I'm just having a look in here for these photos that this. Um, Dale yeah, looks like King Charles. We spend hours <laughs> of effort learning to get the best from your phone. Two weeks later, that that that's true. Um. I'm seeing coins here. Um, I don't think you is have that Mark? That uh, how updates? You oh. have to start all over. Not as much so. anymore. No. You don't really no. have that. No, they don't change the UI and, and stuff like that very, very often. Physical aperture. So there's a switch, a physical switch that you hit in there, or is a button that mm. physically does it. That's interesting. Hmm, interesting. This is um, uh, this is the grips. coins. Sorry. Oh, no, go talk about that. I'll mention it after. So you might remember earlier we we're talking about. Um, uh, where is he? Him. And I said, don't you guys watch? Um, yeah, the, the the metal detecting guys in Wales. Like, what's wrong with you guys? Oh, it's yeah. Like, this is that guy. I'm pretty sure it's him. It is him, Martin Matthews. And he was talking about um, Charles II. Oh, so not this, not this chuckles that's there now. Chuckles. <laughs> ah, <laughs> right. So this this is the old school coins I was talking about. Yeah, this this is what he's finding. Like here, these guys are running around looking for gold nuggets, and over there he's finding coins like this. It's pretty impressive, I think. I love that sort of traditional stuff. Anywho, what were you saying about the the uh, uh, phone grips? What are yeah. your thoughts on phone grips? Because I'm getting like ads nonstop for. Programs. Oh yeah. Mm. Ah. <clears throat> There's oh, a few yeah. around. Um, I've, <laughs> I've been sent a few. Have you seen all the videos I've done of them? Every, 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 <laughs> not one of them. Spil silence speaks volumes. Yeah, it's. Uh, I've got one there. Hold on. I bet he's going to get a phone grip. <laughs> yeah. He's going to remove us from the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Yolanzi. Yolanzi. <laughs> so <laughs> they asked me to, to, to uh, review a product. And, and I said yes, and they sent this with it. I didn't agree to do this one, and there won't be one. Um, yeah, I just I, I don't know. This goes back to what I was saying before about um, it's it's meant to be. Like, you can't fit that in your pocket. Mm. Um, it's got to go into a bag like that, which then goes away from the whole. Um, it's in your pocket. Go and take a photo. I don't know. I, I haven't even put this in. Yeah. Put the phone in this. What, what What do you guys think about these? I probably shouldn't have said everything that I just said before I learned what you guys thought. <laughs> I love them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone should have one. <laughs> um, I shoot left-handed, and they're all made for right-handed. Ah. So well, that was an absolute uh, pain in the ass to get into that. And I just don't. I don't know. It, you're using a remote Bluetooth shutter. I assume they're Bluetooth. And uh, yeah, it's Bluetooth. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just. I guess. I just don't see the. The need for one. 
I know some of them have batteries in them, so they'll keep your phone charged up and stuff. Yeah, so, that's all yeah. I could see. If had a battery, like maybe, but yeah, especially not for like landscape and stuff like that, where you're just, uh, you know, it's on a tripod and stuff like that. Like maybe if you're doing street portraits and and everything, and maybe it looks makes you look a little bit more, um, mm. I want to say professional because, you know, as it though. Well, if a guy came up to you and he's got that on his phone and, or he's just got his phone and he goes, here, can I take your picture? You know, I want to say maybe it does. Maybe, it maybe a case manufacturer know. needs to get like the body of a DSLR for the iPhone or something. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> to trick him or something. I'll shoot you with my Canon 5D. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, <laughs> Like I'll send it to you by airdrop now. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's, there's like a lot of talk with people, you know, like about how mobile photography is becoming more professional, right? Like it, it's becoming more mainstream and, and stuff like that. But there's still that um, sense you get from people that, you know, oh, yeah, you're shooting on your phone. You're not shooting a, a real camera and stuff like that. So does that sort of, if you were like a street photographer or something like that, would that maybe, I, I guess, you know, look more professional? I don't know, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think yeah. my gut feeling is that this is more for vlogging because of this particular one anyway, because it's yeah. got this MagSafe or mag magnet on the front here yeah. that you put this light on, but this light can flip around to face you. Yeah. So I'm guessing that this one here is more, I'm guessing that's for that. Yeah. You could go for that Casey Neistat, Casey Neistat on the skateboard view. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I got out. <laughs> it's funny you say that. I got asked, um, one, one of the, one of the uh, um, emails I got this week was from a company who makes scooters and asked me to review a scooter. I'm like, do you know what I do here? <laughs> Have you seen anything that I do? The hell is wrong with you? Even at paved roads, could you, is it like an yeah. off road scooter? Yeah, when I go for a walk in the morning, I turn around at a paved road. So okay. when, at, well, I turn around. How when many kilometers are that? That's three. So I get to there, turn around, come back. <laughs> can I can go the other way, but that's that's like five. I <laughs> that way. Uh, um, this thing that um, Will's talking about. I don't know. Does Will shoot on an iPhone? <laughs> yeah. I would too. And believe me, if they wanted me to review it, they would too. <laughs> if this here, what Will's talking about, if you use an iPhone, Will, and if it's something that you do often enough, what I've seen people doing is setting it so that this is facing you and have your watch around the phone and your watch facing mm. you so you can see what the camera is seeing. I've seen people yep. do that. That might do what you're talking about there. Um, the, okay, well, let's see if I can find it. What? what? This, Wait, what? This is, put, this is very... Put my hawk to bed? What? Look at that comment. Lovely to see you guys. Need to head now. Put my hawk to bed. I don't judge. No, people just keep your hawks now. <laughs> <laughs> just, just because. <laughs> what were you gonna say, Scott? Um, the first like blackberries and stuff like that. They all had the Palm Pre, a mirror on the back for the selfie, so you could take a selfie. Oh. Well, there you go. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Now, as soon as he said a convex mirror, I, I remember. I'm pretty sure I had a blackberry that had like a little. Like it was plastic or something like that, but it was just something that you know. So if you were taking the picture, you could see yourself it. And uh, I remember when the Palm Pre came out, it had you slide it up. Yeah, right. It had that uh, that mirror onto the back. Yeah. There you go. Palm was so ahead of its time. Yeah, now it's not. That's HP's fault. <laughs> but That's you can pretty. see there's. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, I believe uh, Mr. Mobile did a video last week on Palm Pre, and well, Palm I believe was the uh, the whole video and stuff like that. But there are so many elements of Palm OS 
in mm-hmm. all the phones today, iOS, like the tiles and, and swiping things away, the gestures, mm. like in, yeah. in, in so many, you know, in Android and different things with notifications, it's just, yeah, it, it's, it was so ahead mm. of its time and, and stuff. Mm. Mm. Mr. Mobile, that's a, he's a good channel, that. I enjoy yeah. watching his stuff. Quite informative. Yeah. It, it, I like that it's not all bells and whistles like some others, you know. It's just yeah. This this is the shit. He does fun stuff about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely fun stuff. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Uh, like Mister Who's the Boss, I enjoy what he does, but I don't watch all of it because all that. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's yeah. a bit exhausting watching you, dude. Like I've really got to want to watch what you're talking about for me to watch it, and then uh, to watch him go. The iPhone 15 Pro Max is out, and it does awesome bloody things. <laughs> <laughs> it does in the dark. This, this is this night, mate. I'm like, that's not the night, mate. Send me the fucking phone. Yeah. <laughs> I've just put up with all your. Just, just see two stars. Give me a Greg. break. What was that, Greg? <laughs> it's raining over here. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just when I think we're having a good logical conversation, a 13 year old girl enters the chat. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys i reckon that's it for today we've been talking here for a bloody long time it's good to see all of you instead of just typing to each other yeah yeah and that's fun hello, hello devo if you're still on here <laughs> all right well we'll see you guys in two weeks time will you see me in two weeks time you may not oh Ooh. is that when you're going to be in the high country no no getting whiskey delivered <laughs> <laughs> I, probably I reckon uh, Dale's going to have to drive up there and deliver him a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, I'll take delivery, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm down there. Dale's north of me. But, uh, in two weeks' time, um, I'll be – I don't think we'll be doing it. I'll, I'll let you know close to the date. I've got um, – there's an event called Meat Stock. Um, it's basically a big barbecue, offset Sounds barbecue delicious. festival. Yeah, and Buck and Beard's there, one of the sponsors for the event. So we'll be there doing that. We actually sponsor the um, the Beard competition and the Dad Bod competition. It's just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you should come, Scott. That Beard would win something. I have both. A dad Bod <laughs> and a Beard. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, there's, like, like, bucket loads of offset smokers. There's... Lots of grog, lots of all the stuff, grog, alcohol. Um, do you guys call alcohol grog or not? No. 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 But just I, I've stuff. heard it just called booze. Yeah. Booze. There's barbecue yeah. and booze. <laughs> we don't all right. Like that, <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, see you guys. everybody, for hanging Good around show, all, yes. all this time. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you next time. See you later.